Hi students, welcome to it. another session of my class. We are discussing the paper Writings on Contemporary Issues. And at present we are dealing with the first chapter that is Drug Usage, Drug Abuse, Causes and Solutions. In the last class we discussed about the uh, about this drug usage among the youngsters, how this ha habit happened developed in among the youngsters and how this drug usage soon changed to drug abuse before they know it. Today we are going to discuss about the effects of drug abuse. We all know that this is a negative habit, no? So let us discuss about the effects, how it affects our day-to-day -day life, how it affects our uh, mental growth, our bodily functions, biological function, etc. So, let us start. That is, effects of drug abuse. The most major impact of drug abuse is on the brain, which consequently affects every other aspect of life of the person addicted to drugs. We all know that brain, the most important part of our body, the most major impact of drug abuse is on the brain. Yes, its first negative impact, the most major impact of drug abuse means it negatively affects our brain and which consequently affects every other aspects of life of the person addicted to drugs. And we all know the importance of uh, that particular organ in our body brain. That is, we, our thinking, all other uh, bodily functions, everything is based on the proper smooth functioning of that particular organ that is brain. And the most important one is our uh, reasoning ability, thinking, and the receiving of all the uh, messages that we get from different sources. So, all the culmination of all process, that all bodily functions, that's such an important part in our human body, that is brain. So, the most major impact of drug abuse, that means it most uh, negatively affect our brain and, that, and which consequently affects as a result, it affects every other aspect of life of the person addicted to drugs. Drugs are primarily chemicals that affect the communication system of the human brain. Yes, we all know that all these drugs are chemicals, pure chemicals. And drugs are primarily chemicals and this affects the communication system of the human brain. Basically, this Chemicals, these chemicals affect the communication system of the human brain. They disturb the ways in which nerve cells send, process and receive information. We all know that. In our day-to-day -day life, uh, we, can we are communicating with so many people, etc. At that time, yes, we receive email messages through signals, cards, etc. At the same time, we sent messages to other persons. So, the function is going on with the help of this communication system in our body. So, these chemicals, that is these drugs, they disturb the ways in which nerve cells send, process and receive information. In your biology classes, you already studied the function of nerve cells in our body. That is the send, sending and receiving of messages. That particular process, that is, uh, we can say it is a cyclic process. So, these chemicals, these drugs, they disturb the ways in which nerve cells send, process and receive information. There, there are a couple of ways in which drugs achieve this. That is, there are so many different ways. They copy the natural chemical messengers of the human brain and they overstimulate the brain's reward circuit. 
uh, drugs such as heroin and marijuana are structured in the same way as chemical messengers known as neurotransmitters we all know that that is in our human body there are neurotransmitters for the normal functioning of that communication system that is going on in our human body with the help of these neurotransmitters that is the normal function that is going on in our human body and these chemicals that is these chemical that means these drugs they copy the natural chemical messengers they imitate or copy the functioning of the natural chemical messengers that is uh, existing in our human body that is chemical messengers of the human brain and these chemicals they over stimulate over stimulate the brain's reward circuit that communication system over stimulate for example drugs such as heroin and marijuana please not these uh, names because for one mark question it is important so drugs such as heroin and marijuana are structured in the same way as chemical messengers yes their production this type of chemicals their production itself is like the same way as Uh, natural uh, messenger uh, natural chemical messengers that means these drugs function in our body like our natural chemical messengers but they over stimulate the brain's reward circuit so these chemicals for example heroin and marijuana are structured or produced in the same way as chemical messengers known as neurotransmitters and these drugs they copy the natural function of the human brain and they over and after that they over stimulate the brain's reward circuit these neurotransmitters are produced naturally by the human brain i already told you in your biology classes when you uh, studied about the uh, bodily functions or the human body you, you all are familiar with these neurotransmitters or what are the functions of neurotransmitters etc how this communication process is going on in our uh, uh, human body so these neurotransmitters so neurotransmitters are the natural chemical messengers in uh, messengers of, of the human brain so these neurotransmitters are produced in naturally by the human brain as a result of this similarity that is these natural chemical messengers and these uh, drugs that is heroin and marijuana that chemical messengers so as a result of this similarity the drugs can fool the receptors of the human brain because these chemical messengers these drugs they copy the functioning of natural chemical messengers and they act like normal or natural chemical messengers thus they can fool the receptors of the human brain and activate the nerve cells in such a way that they send some abnormal message messages and these chemical messengers or these drugs activate the nerve cells in such a way that they can they send some abnormal messages for example i can give you a good example that is uh, uh, film spirit film please watch that particular film spirit you can clearly understand the behavior of such people how they act after using drugs even alcohol or other drugs etc that is they act in a euphoristic behavior euphoristic in the sense means like in a like a mad person or in a frenzy or such a uh, that is a disorder uh, uh, be, uh, like a disorder person that is they these uh, chemical messengers they activate the nerve cells in such a way that they send some abnormal messages in the case of drugs like 
meth amphetamine and cocaine the nerve cells get activated and they release extraordinarily large volumes of neurotransmitters please note the name of these uh, names of these drugs for one mark question it is important that is heroin marijuana then in the case of drugs like a meth amphetamine and cocaine the nerve cells get activated these drugs these chemical chemicals these drugs they activated nerve cells and they release extraordinary large volumes of neurotransmitters and they are also capable of preventing the brain from recycling these chemicals in a normal manner that means these drugs totally control the system of brain or the functioning of the brain and they are also capable of preventing the brain from recycling these chemicals in a normal manner that means they act in an abnormal manner a normal level of production is necessary in order to end the signal between neurons that is normally this the functioning of these neurotransmitters is going on in a, a controlled way that is the production recycling uh, sending and receiving of messages that communication system is under the control of that uh, system that uh, uh, communication system of brain a normal level of production is necessary it is important in order to end the signal uh, between neurons etc but here these chemicals these drugs like uh, meth meth amphetamine and cocaine they activated nerve cells in a large way and they release extraordinarily large volumes of neurotransmitters and they also prevent the brain from recycling these chemicals in a normal manner and this disruption leads to a message that is highly amplified and this in turn disrupts the normal ways in which the brain communicates this disruption this disturbance because these chemicals act in an abnormal way so this disturbance leads to a message that is highly amplified and this in turn as a result or this results in this results in the results in what it totally affect the normal communication process that is going on in our brain this in turn disrupts or damages the normal ways in which the brain communicates almost all the drugs use dopamine in order to target the reward system of the brain almost all drugs use that is in um, heroin marijuana or cocaine almost all the drugs use dopamine in order to target the reward system of the brain the, how, how can we define this term dopamine what do you mean by this dopamine so dopamine can be defined as a neurotransmitter so, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that can be found in the areas of brain that control phenomena such as movement motivation emotion and various feelings such as pleasure etc we all know that almost all bodily functions is based on the yes control or the areas of brain so dopamine that can be uh, defined as a neurotransmitter i already told you there are so many natural chemical uh, transmitters messengers that is existing in our human body and dopamine can be defined as a neurotransmitter that can be found in the areas of brain that control what that control phenomena such as movement motivation emotion and various feelings such as pleasure etc and almost all the drugs all these chemicals all these chemical drugs use this dopamine for what in order to fool the Uh, communication system or the reward system uh, of the brain that means these drugs they copy the communication system of the brain and they act like these natural neurotransmitters 
but not in a normal way but in an abnormal way a most famous example of eating disorder owing to drug abuse is that of diego maradona you all are familiar with this name that is the world famous football player who recently died so we all know that he was a, a drug addicted person so a most famous example of eating disorder owing to drug abuse because he was totally addicted to drug as a result yes he had one disorder that is eating disorder that is eating of that is uh, consume food too much that is uh, best example is diego maradona who had gained weight before the 1994 world cup because of his drug abuse and he was weighing in the region of 94 kilos but soon reduced it to 77 kilos through hard work and determination and played an important role in the team's qualification for the tournament proper that is diego maradona that is uh, he he was a drug addicted person and uh, because of his over usage he gained weight too much that is up to the region of 94 kilos and after that he reduced it to 77 kilos through hard work and determination and played an important role in the team's qualification for the tournament proper this is just an example example of a, a drug addicted person drug abuse manifests itself in euphoric behavior by the user and at most times unnaturally so we all know that that is this uh, drug abuse manifests itself in euphoria that is the person who uh, who is addicted to this drugs he behaves he or she behaves in such a manner that is in a euphoric behavior euphoric i already told you is like a frenzied state or in a mad state that is in a disorder state it's not in a normal way so drug abuse manifests itself in euphoric behavior by the user that is the uh, behavior of that person it's not in a normal way it's like a mad person or in a frenzied state etc and that sometimes it's unnaturally so this leads to a sequence where the users keep on repeating the same action of drug abuse because these persons they get some enjoyment from this usage or they get some pleasure from the usage or they are moving or they are flying in a an imaginary world or something like that that is that is the pleasure they get from this using usage so this leads to a sequence so this yes tempted them to uh, use more and more drugs this leads to a sequence where the users keep on repeating the same action that means use and use more drugs each and every day and it, it become a part of their life when this pattern continues the brain tries to adapt to the usage by reducing its own dopamine production as well as dopamine receptors as a result the functioning of the brain that is yes almost in a state of damage when this pattern that is the continuous usage of this drugs when this pattern continues the brain tries to adapt to the usage by reducing its own dopamine production that means the brain brain uh, lost its control to produce normal dopamine etc for the smooth functioning of the communicate communicating system so reducing its own dopamine production as well as dopamine receptors and the user tries to adapt to this through drug abuse and the user tries to adapt or cope up with this situation with the help of drug abuse so that his or her dopamine production level can be brought back to a level that seems normal to him or her and he try to cope up this situation because the functioning of the brain or the production of a dopamine uh, in a in a normal way is uh, totally 
absent because of the over usage of these drugs and as a result this drug addicted person or the user tries to adapt to this through drug abuse that means the use of more and more drugs so that his or her dopamine production that uh, neuro uh, chemical messenger so that uh, neurotransmitter level that dopamine production that can be brought back to a level that seems normal to him or her so the important thing here is how this drug usage affect our human body how this drug usage affect i think all of you understand uh, this part that is the most major impact of drug abuse is on the brain we all know that everything that is our bodily function almost all important functions in our human body is based on brain the functioning of smooth functioning of brain and uh, there is a uh, communication system that is existing within our uh, human body that is uh, when we are engaged in a communication we pass uh, messages that is in the form of signals cards etc that is at present i am talking to you and you are receiving my messages in the form of cards or signals phrases etc and yes there is a communication process that is going uh, that is going on inside you that is when you receive these messages it is passed on to the brain and the brain decodes these cards or signals or uh, messages into a meaningful one that is the normal function that is going on that is it is a cyclic process that is sending and receiving messages that is i am talking to you that is uh, i am trying to pass Uh, some messages or some informations to you and you are receiving my messages and pass on to the brain and the brain is converted or decoded these cards or signals or messages into a meaningful one and you can understand what i uh, what i am trying to convey you that is the normal functioning that is going on in our human body and this human this communication system is based on some uh, neurotransmitters or the neurons that is existing within a human body and dopamine dopamine can be defined as a neurotransmitter that can be found in the areas of brain that control almost all phenomena of a human body that is movement motivation uh, emotion and various feelings such as pleasure etc and these drugs first of all they copy the functioning or they try to understand they copy or imitate the functioning of that communication system of the brain and almost all these chemical um, uh, chemical contain the uh, content that is dopamine and slowly they control over the normal communication system and they act in a not normal way not in a normal way abnormal way and the overuse of this drugs leads to a total damage or total destruction of the communication system of our body i think all of you understand the summary of these two paragraphs that is how this drug usage affects our human body mainly it affects our the communication system that is as a result of this over usage we lost our thinking capacity uh, reasonable ability then this uh, decision making uh, then uh, i gave you one example that is the example of diego maradona that is eating disorder then uh, uh, then this emotion then various feelings sometimes they behave in a very rude manner we all know that that is please watch that film spirit it is the best example for this particular chapter that is spirit if you are not familiar with that uh, particular film please watch it spirit then uh, movement motivation then uh, emotions that is the mood variations that is it totally affect Uh, affects one 
life. I think all of you understand these two uh, paragraphs and uh, there is a homework for you and the homework is uh, what are neurotransmitters. It is important for one mark question. And uh, second one is how do drugs affect the communication system of the brain that we discussed today? How do drugs affect the communication system of the brain? I think all of you understand how these drugs affect or how these drugs, yes, damage the communication system of the brain. Please uh, write your homework and send back to me through WhatsApp. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you again.